All right, you got Soul Crossing. I know that you've been a pretty big champion of this card. Oh, uh, this card is a card that I think is absolutely nuts. Uh, ultimately, uh, it got cut from the deck because I was just able to do such ridiculous nonsense with Ra anyway. But having a way to tribute your opponent's entire field and then swing with a Ra with over with over twelve thousand attack seems pretty tempting. Uh, you can also do tricks with this in this version because I had the Sphere Mode where you can tribute your opponent's field, summon Ra Sphere Mode to your side of the field. It can't be targeted or attacked, so your opponent basically ends up passing. And then you can just go ahead and turn it into, um, well, into Ra. <laughs> what, no wolf this time? <laughs> no, ultimately this uh, Lightspawn engine got slimmed right down. Uh, I probably would cut the wolves if I went ahead and did this again, but since this is what ended up in the final build, we'll show it to you guys here. Uh, so this is kind of a really weak start, but I have got Maxi and I have got Kaiju. Opponent's Dragon? playing Cyber Dragon. No, Cyber Dragon. I guess you pulled the Royal Rare Cyber Dragon core and you think, why not? I like Cyber Dragons, and I would do a deck profile for them. I would do a future week for Cyber Dragon, but like so many... They're so popular, so many other creators have already done it. It kind of feels like... I want to find something a little bit more unique, and Ra was something sitting at the top of that list. Uh, if you want to look for a great uh, light warrior archetype, the Utopia deck I played last week can fully abuse the Joker straight card. Yeah, that does sound pretty tempting. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it is gives that you that a ZS Sage board. thing, the really broken one? Is that a warrior or a spellcaster? The which one? Sorry, the Sage. Yeah. Uh, I think he's a warrior. Because like you so win think... the game if you search for that card. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can literally summon uh, summon two, get the level five. The only problem is you get locked into Exe summons, and then the five kind of ends up a little bit dead for you. But you could potentially uh, go to Constellar Polides uh, in that deck. So you'd have your whole setup field and a Constellar Polides. And you know that that field's basically impossible to play through as it stands. Called by the Grave on Cyber Dragon. That's just Yeah, we don't want to... Yeah, and then he's going to go for Infinity. Another grass. Yep, and at this point, I do. I've got the soul, the soul transition in my hand. So, soul crossing in my hand. Sorry. So I want to get this uh, guardian sun destroyed, so I can go ahead and get my search card for wing dragon of Ra. Yeah, that does seem pretty good. Yeah. So we can go ahead and open this turn with uh, Joker straight. Oh, kaiju. Uh, and then opponent maxis. This is fine. I'm completely fine with this because for the most part, I'm going to be normal summoning. Yeah, so we can just go ahead and normal summon that. Not special summons. Deny my opponent the extra draw from maxi. Go ahead and get our wing dragon Ra. Banish the ancient champ from the graveyard. Opponent's going to chain the Salaman great, thinking, aha, I've got you. We've got snow in the graveyard, so we just go ahead and pull that up, and then there's three monsters. Oh, again. that's awesome. I was thinking of a sudden, like, what is your backup plan there? And then, oh my god, Snow is so good. Yeah, Snow being an insane Yu-Gi-Oh card. And then Wing Dragon Raw gains the attack distributed. And we swing for 10k. I feel like that's how all of these are going to end. And we swing for 10k. Uh, yeah, you yeah, basically, like, I always feel like that guy inside Park is like, with you, buddy. and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically what you're doing to your opponents.